What is up, guys? It is a rainy and gray Thanksgiving morning. This is Big Bible Mini Movies. I am Sean Jordan, and today we are on our way to Joe Lee's parents' farm to have an amazing home-cooked Thanksgiving meal. If you don't know this, Joe Lee and I have been really trying to eat healthy the last several years. Joe Lee does a better job of it than I do. But our contribution to this Thanksgiving meal is to bake a healthy pumpkin pie. Now the challenge here is, We've never baked a healthy pumpkin pie. So Jolie is looking a recipe up on her phone and the goal is to make a healthy pumpkin pie that people actually want to eat. Now at the same time, I wanna talk about what the Bible has to say about being thankful and what the recipe is as a Christian to be thankful not only at Thanksgiving, but all year long. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. That's the plan for today. Come along with us for Thanksgiving. Let's go. So as we drive to Jolie's parents, I'll give you the punchline of this right now. If always feeling gratitude in your heart could be baked up, the item you'd be cooking would be gratitude to God. And I hate to sound basic, but this is the only way to keep a feeling of gratitude in your heart. So if I always want to keep a feeling of gratitude in my heart, the obvious question becomes, what is the perfect recipe that bakes up and keeps gratitude to God? You need three simple ingredients. To bake up and keep a heart of gratitude, the first ingredient we add is salt. And as a child, I have these surreal memories of my grandmother folding the laundry as she sang hymns of gratitude to God, just as grateful as she could be. And I am sure there were reasons that she could focus on to not be grateful. Losing her husband early in life would be one, but her song was a loving conversation between her and her creator, God, about all that he had done for her. Secondly, to bake up and keep a heart of gratitude, the ingredient is grateful prayer. In order to speak to God of gratitude in prayer, we have to first organically know what we're grateful for. We have to set our intentions, our minds to focus on gratitude. And this is a recurring concept in pop psychology today. It's called a positive mental attitude. The missing ingredient in that pie is who are you to offer the gratitude to? And it might kind of bake up because you're calling on divine law here, but the part you're missing, it won't keep because you're not recognizing God is the supplier of all those good things. Thirdly, to make up a heart of gratefulness, we need to add the ingredient to rejoice. And that might not mean exactly what you think it means. I've done a complete video on this. You can click here if you want to expand on the scriptural idea. But the bottom line is that you want to have the ingredient of calm happiness. Calm happiness driven by the knowledge of and your relationship with God. First, consciously try to practice calm happiness because of this relationship and the knowledge of God until it becomes unconscious. So the recipe to bake up a heart of gratitude that keeps, that's it. It's a practice of these three things. Dear God, thank you so much for this time that we have to be here together. And just thank you so much for family. Thank you for the blessing of family on this day. We ask that you would be with Faye and her family today and that you would be with my family, you would be with Michael's family. 
Dear Lord, we ask that you would bless this food to our bodies and just thank you for the many blessings that you have given us. It's in Christ's name we pray this prayer. Amen. I love the fact that this is a disaster. Disaster. <laughs> It's really good. In the end, we followed the recipe mostly and it worked out. And that is my prayer for you, my friend, that you would sing praises to God of gratitude regularly and often, that you would pray prayers of gratitude regularly because you know that all good things come from him and you want to acknowledge that and thank him and focus on all the things you're grateful for and that you would practice consciously having calm happiness because of your relationship with God, because of your relation to him, because of knowing him and who he is, because you know who you are, because you know whose you are. My prayer for you is that you would take these three ingredients and you would bake up a life that keeps gratitude in your heart. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Happy whip!